Okay, this is Abdul Malik Ahmed from Native Dean and Dean TV going through all of the short films that were submitted for the short film challenge, the Dean TV short film challenge. Um, this next video is entitled, Is This the End? Is This the End? by Abdul Rahman and Muhammad Chaudhry. And the synopsis is, This is Sufyan, a young 19-year-old boy like any other that has big goals ahead of him. He is Hafiz and is religious, but recently he has been getting off track. This is his story and how he changed back to becoming a true Mu'min again. All right, with no further ado, here is Is This the End by Abdul Rahman and Muhammad Chaudhry. This is Sufyan, a young 16-year-old boy like any other that has big goals ahead of him. He's a Hafiz and is religious, but recently he has been getting off track. This is his story and how he changed back to becoming a true Mu'min again. Brother Sufyan, can you help me with my homework? Brother Sufyan, can you help me with my homework? Yo man, can't you see I'm watching something? What do you need help with? Area perimeter man, I told you. I don't have time for you. Yo, who do you think I am to you? Your brother, my brother. I'm not your math tutor. Get out, man. I said, get out. Get out. Watching something, man, and this kid can't let me watch him. It's crazy, man. The truth is that Sofyan actually loves his younger brother Hamza and even needs to spend time with him and make him laugh and play. Recently though, Sofyan started prioritizing other not so great things over his younger brother. Some of that being him listening to haram music videos with immoral acts in it and other stuff that is considered to be a waste of precious time. It's a lot of time. It's only been two hours twenty minutes. It's such a good movie. Good luck. I'll pray Salah later. It's way too early for Salah. It's only like eight fifty something. It's too early for Salah. And like, I could pray later on. I could even make up Qaza. This movie I could only watch now. And look, half a probably I'll be having a life of seventy nine years, the average human lifespan. Take away 16, I still have 63 years of my life to pray Salah, to make Ibadah, to become a good Muslim. Uh, I'll, I'll pray Salah later, man. It's okay. I'll, I'll let me finish this movie. Okay. Did you pray Salah? Fian decided to lie. Pray Salah, yeah. Maybe you should eat dinner because your Quran class will be start in 5 minutes. Okay, my dinner's ready? Yeah. Okay, front class is starting. Uh, uh, I eat dinner. It's cauliflower curry again? I ate that yesterday with dry bread. You're joking with me? I I'm not eating dinner, I'm sorry. Sofyan disrespected his father and was ungrateful for the great blessing of food, which around 1.3 billion people lacked and would be so willing to trade spots just for a small meal of vegetables. Sofyan didn't really mind lying either and would lie very often to his parents, not caring about him committing sins. He was angry about everything and was even more annoyed about taking his Quran class, which was forced by his parents and teachers so he wouldn't forget the holy book that he memorized word by word. What is it? Of me reading is enough. Like, I'm just reading it, that's, that's all I'm supposed to do. It doesn't matter whether it's weak or like, strong. Knowing the Quran, that's all that counts. What? Your Quran, your Quran is weak. Well, what can it do? You should, you should revise it. 
Yeah, but what's the point of revising and memorizing it? That's all that counts. If you forget it, then uh, you, it's going to be uh, hard to answer the questions in the grave, and then Allah doesn't like those that forget the Quran after memorizing it, because they'll be punished, and it's not good. Bro, stop lecturing me like my dad, my brothers, and everyone. You're my friend. You're here only to listen to me, okay? You better understand that. That's all, man. I'm done here. Bye, man. Bye. That's all. Sofian was looking forward to having a good day tomorrow, so he decided to get some sleep. Sofian heard a huge knock on the door. When he asked who it was, he heard someone say it was the angel of death. He thought it was a prank by his brother Hamza, but he noticed Hamza was sleeping. Sofyan realized that he was actually going to die and begged the angel of death to give him just one more month to live as he wanted to live a long life. But the angel said no. Sofyan begged just for one more day and the angel still said no. That is when Sofyan locked the door and backed up. But the door somehow opened and the angel took his soul. The next thing that Sufyan saw was that he was in a grave and that the two angels Munkir and Nakir were asking him questions. Sufyan was answering the questions wrong, that the angels were asking, like who is your lord? Sufyan couldn't understand why he couldn't answer the questions, he knew the answers. That is when he realized what his friend Omar told him, that you have to act upon the deen to be able to answer these questions. That is when Sufyan regretted everything he did in his life and wished he could go back to do some good in his life. In the Quran, there is an ayah that refers to people that wish to go back to the world to do good deeds, but by then it is too late. To make things worse, Sofiano was receiving his book in his left hand on the Day of Judgment. Due to his bad deeds, he was wondering what was happening to him. All of a sudden, Sofyan opened up his eyes and he was in his room? But how? It's only a dream, Alhamdulillah. Ya Allah, from this day, I'll dedicate my life to you and I won't waste any time and I'll use my time preciously and I'll do ibadah for the rest of my life. Amen. Sufyan promised to Allah that from now on he will never miss a salah, he will always make sure his Quran is strong, and he will always respect his parents. And this is how Sufyan became a true mu'min again. Okay. All right, all right. Um, so, like all the videos, I'm gonna go into the good, what I felt was good about the video, and then improvements I felt could be made for the video. Overall, I thought it was pretty well done. Um, I, one of the things I wanna point out is that the background music um, was unique. A lot of times, because you know we know that there is some debate over musical instruments in Islam, there's the debate about it. Um, there's scholars on both sides. So one of the things is that I've seen in, um, uh, in this particular video, you didn't have no music. You use music with vocal only. You can tell that there was like vocal only, but I felt that um, you could have had a little bit more variety. Um, if you go YouTube, look up, you listen to Islamic voice only backgrounds, you have tons of, uh, you know, this voice only backgrounds that you can use. Some of them are overused. You hear them on every Islamic film, but it gives you options, okay? Especially if you want to do voice only uh, music for your background, but you should have something. So adding some background music is important by for selling Mu music, whether you want to call it music or background nasheed. Actually, that's what you you look for on YouTube, background nasheed. And then you, there's, there's tons of background nasheed on YouTube that you can use if you want to do voice only. But you need something. Unfortunately, in today's age, if you want to you you want to keep uh, on par with. Uh, what people expect in a video, you have to have some background music. So you use voice only uh, uh, music. I like that. I wish you had done more. Okay, so you had one that was going on pretty much for a long time, and it didn't really sometimes fit with the um, uh, with the what was going on in the scene. 
uh, the dramatic nature of the scene. But um, I wanted to just commend you on that. Acting was pretty good, and the dialogue was good. I liked some of the the the, the self dialogue, how he was actually justifying to himself why he should watch a movie um, by numbers and statistics and all that kind of stuff. I thought that was pretty good. Um, I liked the voiceover. I, I think the voiceover for people who um, don't have a grasp on how to really make good quality sound in their videos, I think voiceover is a really good choice on uh, when when it comes to. Um, at least beginner filmmaking, so that you, the, the audio doesn't distract. So, um, al although the sound got really loud at one point, uh, you know, if you heard that. You better understand that, that's all, man, I'm done here. Bye, man, bye, that's all. So if you're just looking for it. Just like, whoa. Uh, but um, that's just technical issues. Um, one of the things is how'd you get the red eyes, okay? I don't know, is that like a filter or something? You got the red eyes. Um, that was creepy, but it, it definitely got my attention when, the, when um, you know, when he had died and he's he's getting his book uh, in the, in his left hand and that type of thing. Um, that added a cool effect. So I thought that was, that was pretty good. Um, using black and white for recalling. I think that was really good. So whenever people are like kind of remembering something or looking in the background, back, um, changing the, 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 the effect of the video this at this particular time you use black and white. I thought that was very good and I think other people, if they're like reminiscing or using, thinking back, oh, I should have su done such and such and or like um, uh, using a clip for from something that was done previously, I think this is a really good way of doing it, using the black and white to uh, to have that. Um, one of the things, um, you know, I think people might say that this story is a little cliche, you know, but actually I've known somebody, this, this, this particular story actually happened to somebody where they were dreaming um, and they, uh, they thought that they were end up in hell and then they woke up and they realized they were back and then it changed their lives. So, you know, I like this story. I thought it was pretty good. Let us know what your feedback was. Um, I'm gonna give you some improvements that I think could be made. 16 by nine format, all right? You have to use 16 by nine format, okay? Don't hold the phone like this. Hold it like that, okay? Um, unless that you're, you're, you're publishing to like IGTV, Instagram TV or something like that or maybe Instagram. Otherwise, hold the phone sideways, okay, when you're doing short film. Make sure that you, you do that um, correct. Pretty much all phones uh, um, have that 16 by nine. For this film, you know, the ratio is off, okay? There's different ratios when it comes to filming, okay? There's 16 by nine, and then there's four by three. Please choose 16 by nine. If you're planning on going on YouTube or any, like a channel, any video channel, use 16 by nine. 4x3 is an, is kind of like an older format, it's a narrow format, and what happens when you use a different video ratio, uh, you get black bars on the side, okay? Always use 16 by nine, at least it's starting, you know, especially if you wanna to go to YouTube or want to be have a more professional look. Don't use 4x3, okay? Um, Keep the actor in frame. You know, a lot of times, sometimes we move the camera and we don't realize that the actor is out of frame. Make sure you keep the actor in frame. One of the things that I said a lot of times in some of the other videos is when you are filming, what you wanna do is you wanna take a shot. For example, let's say the actor is there and he's moving over there. All right, if the actor is walking, you can follow. You know, I saw sometimes you had to follow, but don't follow the, the actor around everywhere and you know, and have that, no, okay? Get separate shots, okay? Have a wide shot, mid shot, close up shot, okay? Um, the only, I mean, I'm not saying that you should never use, like a lot of times when people are walking, like there's dialogue coming forth, then you need, you, you can use that and you can have um, dialogue and you can pull the camera or if they're going, so, there's definitely ways to use um, uh, motion when it comes to, to filming. But I feel that it takes away when you follow the action with your camera and you're going over here and they're doing this, it, 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 it takes away from the story and it cheapens the look, okay? So make sure that for your next video, you, you get separate shots, okay? Wide shot, very wide shot, mid shot, a little closer, close up shot, okay? At least those three. 
okay? Take them into your editing uh, suite, cut them up, and make it a very seamless process. If you have a dialogue, try to get the over the shoulder shot. So where you're getting a little bit of the shoulder, right? And you're, you see the other person in the back talking to the other person, right? So those are very, that's very important. Um, one of the things I feel felt that, um, again, I've said this in other videos, the shots were too long, you know? Cut them up, cut them up, get those different shots. Um, also, when the camera is tilted, there's one shot where the camera is tilted. Um, you can use kind of these stylistic angles, but they have to have a purpose, okay? In one of the short films that we did, Rhythms of Faith, Faith uh, the director actually used the, the tilted angle, but the reason why it was used was because of the, um, they were trying to show that, like a sense of confusion or a sense of, uh, you know, dis uh, the, the, the actor was very disturbed so that they sw they changed the angle of the camera like oh my goodness what is happening and so they added that but other than that don't use weird camera angles unless you have a reason to do it okay unless there's a purpose in and it's part of the storytelling um, um, yeah so those those were my basic comments again I said in the beginning make sure that you change the music around a little bit uh, you know based on the mood of the shot okay so use find a couple like one half if you have a happy part use the happy part if you have a sad part use a sad part so change it up a little bit so that it's not one monotonous uh, uh, tune or background music for the for this for the video again let us know what you guys think comment put your comments uh, if you like the video like it like it like it if you haven't subscribed subscribe we'll take all this into consideration I, I, I like this video I, I thought it was um, it was well done and I think that you know it's a good contender but we'll take your thoughts and your comments and your likes into consideration for the top 10 winners make sure that you continue to support these young filmmakers and uh, I'll see you next time in the next video thank you this Dean TV video was made possible in part by Islamic Relief USA, working together for a better world, and by Recycle Processes Incorporated.